Using bookmaps replay mode is an extremely powerful feature that can be used to test automated trading strategies, debrief your trading performance, or for practicing your trading since you can trade uh, in the replay mode. Let's open up uh, replay mode. We'll start by double clicking on the desktop icon. We'll open up bookmap. And in the run options window here, you can see that I have the replay data available uh, as the choice. Now, before I open it up in replay mode, uh, let's show how you can record your data files and then replay them back into replay mode. So when you start up bookmap and you choose either the live data trading simulated by bookmap um, or live data uh, trading through your brokerage account, real or simulated, you have the options down here to uh, check for record live data. So do that and then you'll be able to record that file, uh, that live file, and then replay it back in replay mode. Now you can also note that you have the option here uh, for with live data traded through your brokerage account. Uh, you will need the one-click uh, trading add-on feature for this. Uh, but when that is selected, you also have the option to record your trading uh, activity. Okay, so you can just check that box there and it will record the orders. Okay, so let's click on uh, replay data. We'll select that and we'll open up book map. Uh, and it opens up right away in replay mode. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the interface here. Uh, and what's going on. So you can see here that there is a thin uh, gray line that's slowly advancing here. It is loading my replay file data here. Okay. You can also see it, it's there. There's very uh, it's very small here. So I'm just going to click to advance it. But there is a blue line uh, that is uh, advancing as well. Uh, and this is the uh, actual point that is replaying here in the chart. Okay, so you can see here that what I can do uh, is I can hover over this gray line and the tooltip tells me uh, exactly the uh, time uh, and the date here uh, in the file. So I can go exactly to 10 a.m. right here and I'll, let's just click right on that. Okay, and there I am. You can see that the chart centers here uh, at just at, uh, at 10 or, or 10.25 uh, 10 o'clock and 25 seconds is where it, it actually showed up. Okay, so you can see that you can hover over these areas and quickly advance this way. You can also go back in time uh, and click again and, uh, in, and go back and revisit some of those, those areas as well. Okay, uh, now that can also be accomplished here with the VCR type of um, uh, tools. You have the stop button. Uh, you also let's uh, let's click uh, play again here. We'll resume um, and um, and let's uh, advance this again here. Okay, there we go. And um, uh, you can also uh, set the speed to one uh, here, or you can uh, fast forward as you can see and go eight times the market speed or sixteen times the market speed, etc. Okay. This is a great way for uh, replaying your data uh, for either practicing or um, uh, very quickly understanding your trading activity and the debriefing. Okay. Now you can also go uh, slower than one time speed. Okay. You can go at half speed, a quarter speed, and, and an eighth speed. All right. So uh, uh, those are the, the uh, uh, settings here for um, uh, speeding up and slowing down. Uh, as well as using the uh, uh, advancing here by just clicking forward and, and backwards. Okay. Now there's also another way of, of inputting the exact time uh, in the file. So you'll note here uh, the data shows on the right hand side here uh, 14 March uh, 2017. So this is the replayed file from uh, uh, this, this afternoon's uh, activity. All right, and you can see at what time it is playing here. Now, I can also double click on the time here uh, and I can input uh, a specific number or I could advance it here with the, um, uh, the arrow keys and you can see that it's advancing from 20 to 21 to 22, uh, etc. Or I can go back and look exactly at, uh, oh, let's say like 10.04 or I'm sorry, 10.40 there. 
okay? So uh, you can input them with key values uh, or, uh, or with uh, using the, um, uh, the arrows, uh, or you can use the arrows on the keyboard as well, okay, and quickly go back and forth, all right? Okay, and um, let's go through the, uh, the pin that you see here in blue. Okay, if I have that uh, selected in blue, uh, the, uh, the tools will always be uh, available here. Uh, if I uh, click on the, on the uh, pin, uh, you can see that they're hidden now. But if I hover over uh, the, uh, the replay um, uh, file here, or the uh, timeline, uh, the, uh, the, the toolbar comes right back up. So I'm going to select it. I like to keep it open uh, and utilize the, um, the VCR type tools here. Okay. Now let's go over loading the files. Okay. So you can load uh, different files here. Uh, click on the load feed file uh, and it brings up the folder uh, from your, um, your C drive, your bookmap folder, and your feeds folder here. And these, were all, these are all of your recorded uh, feeds. Okay, you can uh, sort them by date modified and have the, the, the most recent ones pop up to the top. Okay, so just select the file there and then open it and you'll open a new data file, your uh, recorded data file. Okay, now you can have uh, different uh, files open up uh, when you open up replay mode. So under settings, uh, you can um, open up that drop down and let's come down to uh, replay startup action. So you can choose none if you like, and nothing will um, uh, load uh, when you open up the uh, replay mode. And you'll just have to then click on the load feed file here. Uh, or you can choose uh, load last replayed file. So that would be the last file that you had in replay mode. Uh, or you can choose here. Uh, which is the one I have chosen, is load the last used file. And that will be the last used file you had uh, in, um, in your live data mode. All right, so it will, that will, the most recent one will pop up uh, immediately in replay data mode. All right, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, you can also uh, choose here to um, uh, replay your recorded orders uh, if you have that one-click trading or you can load your orders here uh, if you like as well. You can see you can also export them too.